This Tapoy is standing from the Mbaimara airstrip 270 degrees west. Right. right off to the right, there's that a one with the, one. the pointy one, yeah. Is Two hundred and eighty-four. All right, let's okay. turn around here and see if you can get that on your zoom way into the big round hump in the back. Um. Can you get that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the furthest hump back there by itself. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. It is 174 degrees. All right, what's next? Make sure I've got eyes on the right one. So the hat? Yeah, the hat. The hat. This is not good. Let's zoom back a little bit the hat. Is that 77 degrees from Do you want to do any others? Oh, well, yeah, let's check out the Carawang. Which is the Carawang? The Recon. The back tier there. I'm not sure, but let's sight this little bump on the ridge. You see the highest point on this long flat ridge? In the, the back, back. back. Yeah, kind of behind by the, the By the antenna looking thing. All right, where the hell is the antenna? Let's just, let's just looking for the antenna looking thing. Uh, hold on. Antenna looking thing. Barely see it, but okay. What is that the one? The antenna is exactly 101 degrees. Okay. So, give us some commentary, Aaron. So we were just citing the various mountains from around the Environmental Airstrip for some future expedition plans. This one, I think I know what it is on the maps, on the Togo maps. But uh, I want to make sure, I want to confirm that that's actually the case. So we have a, a database on which we could plot the location of various historical and uh, biodiversity of the Guianas program plant collections and the idea is to plan to go to Tepuis that have never been explored or botanically explored in the future. We're just exploring our options. And in Baimada, it's the perfect place to jump off of this. Perfect in the relative sense. <laughs> <laughs> we have some footage. Would you like to say some final closing words for Mbai Madai and our expedition? Um, it was very fun. I don't know. <laughs> that was not an enthusiastic very fun. <laughs> it was, sorry. I'm hot from cleaning all day and shuttling around and loading buckets. It was, uh, yeah, it was an awesome experience. I had a great time. I wish we were staying in Mbai Madai longer. It's a very interesting place to uh, explore the surrounding mountains from, definitely. And it has a lot of botanical diversity within a five-minute walk. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be collecting still right now. On the savannah. On the savannah. Right here. Yes, right here. We wouldn't even have gotten to the mountain. Right next to the airstrip. We would have stayed nice and close where we had cold cokes. Ken, parting words. I love this little area. <laughs> <laughs> the savannah is very fine from Al Pigielli's families. It has extraordinary diversity. If you wanted to do transcriptome work, this is the place <laughs> to jump off to. Bring a doer and fly home. <laughs> so there's a nice little town. I guess. Could use some more paving. How many? Yeah, I mean. Ken's little favorite savanna. Yes. Just he and his RNA tank, preservation tank. <laughs> the river was also nice for legumes, I guess. We collected six different genera yesterday afternoon in a short outing. There's Kamakusa, isn't it? Which one? Which is Kamakusa, not the hat? The hat. The hat is Kamakusa? The hat. You think the hat is Kamakusa? What's the hat? Nothing really looks like a hat. <laughs>
Alan or Alan. Like <laughs> Alan, <laughs> Alan, Steve, Bill, John, doesn't matter. I, I was have no to say that, fixed name. That Alex's brain is a bit Bob Dylan Bolo. <laughs> damaged from the expedition, but <laughs> perhaps <laughs> <laughs> extends what to it. perhaps it extends to uh, some of our senior members. <laughs> There's no what happened. You mean the little pillbox shaped thing up there, the bunker looking thing? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't look like a hat. The flat bump. I thought Kamakusa was. You see the little saddle thing there? No, I thought it was I off to the right. So you changed your mind. You see, yeah. I've been fed faulty information. So it wasn't the hat. Never been there my, before. <laughs> my young mind has been polluted. Yeah, well, you knew that was happening. By this elderly woman's 